Alright, welcome to Class Online School. In Class Online School, we run the Nigerian curriculum from JSS1 to SS3. We have counseling sections, we have uh, sex education. On our counseling section, we talk about issue arising and then sometimes business tips. We create family oriented um, content to help us build our family and to build our to, to you. Welcome to the page, welcome to the channel. If you're not subscribed to us on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're not following us on Facebook, please follow us. Okay, so today we want to look at why you need to build trust with your teenagers. So we are looking at why you need to build trust with your teenagers. You know, teenagers are special kind of people. It's a stage in life that sometimes they want their own independence. Sometimes there are things they may shut out or shut you out of. Sometimes they may be cross that they don't want to talk about some things. But when there is trust, you see that most of those things, they shut you out, they will come out on the open. So as a parent and as a caregiver, how do you build trust with these teenagers? Trust is two ends. It comes from you, it comes from them. But how do they build trust with you as an adult, as a parent and as a caregiver? You see, there are ways you discuss with a teenager they see you as a friend there was an episode i did and i told you jump into their world teenagers have world what do they do what are their challenges what do they face how do you come into the whole picture this is how you jump into their world so today we are going to look at how to build trust with your teenagers first have a honest discussion about issues with them. Honest discussion. That's to say that you have to initiate this discussion. Discussion that borders around family coffees, family rules, family goals, okay, sex education, their plan in life, peer pressure, bullying in school, dating, relationship. These are topics you can bring out and discuss with them when you come up with this this topic be honest with your discussion be plain be less judgmental if possible don't be judgmental discuss with an open mind that will make your teenager trust you they know that you are talking about something you already know about they see you as a friend who understand what they are going through and your honesty in discussing it with them will be an added, um, added advantage in their trust so have a honest conversation about these topics I have mentioned and many other ones you think you can discuss with them then two, ask open-ended question open-ended question that we require them to bring in their idea, tell you their feelings, tell you their view. Okay, ask them what do you think about coffees in the home between seven and eight for you to be in the house. Allow them to make, give their comment. Ask them what do you think about being alone with the opposite sex in a secluded area at an odd time. What do you do? How will you handle such situation? You are not giving them A, B, C question. You are giving them an open-ended question that require them to think and tell you what they think. Ask them, do you think um, we are too strict in handling your sleeping out on, sleeping out with uh, family friends and family members? Okay, how do you think you want to handle your social media activities? These are open-ended questions. You will bring them in and they will listen. That way you are building their trust. They are seeing you as a conversational person. 
they are seeing you as being in their world, understanding what they are facing, understanding the problem they face. Then third, give specific encouragement and instances on how you will handle a situation. Then tell them your mistakes of situation you didn't handle on time. Those topics you've discussed, whether on sex education, family coffee, tell them how you mishandled things when you were teenagers that you regret now. And tell them why they should not follow that line of thought so that they don't have such regrets. Tell them the mistakes you've made in the past and why they shouldn't make such mistakes at present. Be honest, okay? Specific encouragement. Encourage them on what and what they should do, what and what they should not do at some situation. As we encourage them, the ears that hears is inside, not this outer one. The fourth one is give commendation when they share their view. A teenager comes to you and say, tell you that the other friend has this, has that. Why am I not having it? My peers are dating. Why am I not dating? I am crushing on somebody. Is it right? Commend them. Don't start being judgmental. When you commend them with a smiling face, um, with an open hands, open mind, you laugh about it, you are not judgmental about it, and you discuss frankly with them, they will see you as a friend and they will trust you. They will know that if they discuss anything, it is safe with you and you will not be judgmental about it. So try as much as possible to commend them if they come to you oh thank you for sharing this information oh thank you for bringing up this topic oh i appreciate you saying this oh i love when you come to me for us to discuss this these are validation commendation that will go a long way to warm their hearts and they will want to come back again to discuss further things that are bothering them let's not be the judgmental caregivers that they will tell you i am crushing over somebody and you start shouting do you have a boyfriend now do you have this you have... no 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 try to listen comment them and validate them then the fifth one i want to talk about is recognize your own mistakes okay if at any point in time they tell you a secret a consign and you discuss it with your partner or with any of your grandparents or somebody close to them and you see that it annoys them apologize accept your mistake oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to discuss it that way it just come off that way and i'm sorry it won't repeat itself i promise i will not there will be hesitance to come to you but prove that you will not repeat it okay unless there are secrets that you think is going to jeopardize your life that you have to seek um solution to they are your younger ones they are your kids okay you are a caregiver so you need to protect them if they give us sensitive information about somebody bullying them somebody harassing them sexually and they think they confide in you to make it secret and you think this thing have to be work on work on it on the ground and find solution to it and most times tell them this is no longer a secret because your life is at stake and i need you to be alive I need to protect you so I have to take measures. Let them know. Okay? Tell them that measures have to be taken in order to correct this mess. So sometimes when before you reveal a secret information they give out to you, tell them that this should not be a secret anymore. We need to work on it. That way you've told them and when it come out in the open, they will not feel awkward. Okay? So recognize your mistake and apologize and let them know it won't happen again then give them a measure of independence teenagers want independence don't just structure them like an infant don't just cage them like a preteen give them small small independence um, see how they give a little measure small and see how they handle it if they handle it well extend your independence nature that you're giving as the day goes by you keep increasing it and see how they are going to handle situation 
if it gets to a point they are not able to handle it let them know that i'm withdrawing this because you're not handling it the way i think you should handle it this is how i want you to handle it sometimes give guidelines and say this independent i'm giving you this is how you're going to go about it this is how i'm going to go about it i want to see your intelligent way of you handling it i've given you guidelines and i'm giving you the free hand to go exploit but please don't come back with wounds and bruises because I've given you guidelines. You know, you can guide them that way. You don't need to hold them up together. Give them a sense of independence, a little. Be increasing their independence gradually. Don't just go all in. All right? Okay. So, um, if they have done well, tell them I see how you handled that situation and it was perfect. It was good. It was great. Okay, so keep thinking smart and keep doing it greatly. I will give you guidelines from time to time. Then finally, make sure you check in when you give them independence. Check in and ask them how are you handling that issue? How are you handling that situation? What is the challenge you are having? How do you think we want to fit in? That's where your child will um, trust you. So we've discussed a number of points. Have an, uh, an open discussion, ask open-ended questions give specific encouragement okay give commendation when they come around uh, recognize your own mistake and accept and apologize give them a measure of independence and then guide them on the independence you've given out to them and see how they are doing then check in from time to time and see if they are doing well with independent life and giving them and see how you're going to better it so this is how you can build trust with your teenagers. Build trust with them. They need to explore. But in their exploration, you need to guide them. You need to help them. You need to go bit by bit. Don't go all in. If not, they will crash land. So as parents and as caregivers, build trust. Trust is both end. And so in our next episode, we are going to see how children can build trust with their parents. Now we are talking about how children, how teenagers can, how parents can build trust with their teenagers. But in our next edition, we're going to talk about how teenagers can build trust with their caregivers and their parents. So thank you for joining me. Are there are other suggestions you think we should add to this comment below the comment box. People watching it will go through the comment box and will benefit from it. We want to build trust. We want to help our teenagers and go all in put in your time have an open discussion with them work as a team spend time with them know the problem they are facing be part of their life communicate with them and see how you're going to help them remember we have we create family oriented uh, content to help our young ones help our family uh, to build us better make our tutu you better that's what we are out for in this page and in this channel thank you for joining me i'll see you in the next